A long way to go this season, but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in the title race. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. Can he take advantage? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. A glance at the table then, and quite honestly, Newcastle have surprised more than a few of us with the brand of football. It's been explosive at times. Well, a lot of pundits said they couldn't keep up their excellent displays, but they're proving everybody wrong, including me. They are playing brilliantly at the moment and deserve to be top. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, for Newcastle United, it certainly was a good performance and result in the last match against Southampton. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Yes. Big chance! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Let's see about the delivery. I oh, couldn't really direct it where he wanted. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Wataru Endo. Now can they counter clinically? Has a go. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not away completely. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, a good diving save. Now sending it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Holland. De Bruyne now. Endo. Still passing it around with authority. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. 
keeping possession of the ball with authority. And the ball back with Newcastle here. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Indeed, two trenchant sides not giving very much away at all. Great pressure to win the ball back. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Aurelien Chouameni. Foden. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Put in by De Bruyne. Alvarez. Chouameni. Holland. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park. And the game begins. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Struggling to get it away. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, there's been a lot of chatter on the internet about Wolves and Stewart. They have their new signing. It's finally gone through. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Can he put them in front? And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Newcastle United taking on Leeds United. This could square the game. Pivotal moment defensively. And into the last 30 minutes now. Oh, good use of the ball. McKenney. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Moving into the advanced position. Dan James. McKenney. Alvarez well make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way it's Manchester City facing West Ham United I'm really looking forward to that two entertaining teams in what should be oh really Stuart they might be onto something well last gasp defending but brilliant defending Ruben Dias. Aurelien Chouameni. On to Holland. Given away by City. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. 
Well, fair play. He took on the shot, but he's not going to be happy with how it ended. Aurelien Chouameni. And he's won the ball. Good technique displayed. Fine cross into the middle. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Holland. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Endo. Another goal from this corner would, in all likelihood, secure victory. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Superb block. Ronald Araujo. And there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Newcastle United. I wonder what you thought about their performance. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. One man the focus of attention. In fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today? Live on EA TV. Well, it has been known to rain on the odd day here at St. James's Park and rain in the forecast for this match. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United up against Leeds United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Harrison. Now, what can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, for Newcastle United, it certainly was a good performance and result in the last match against Manchester City. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? 
Yes, I thought it was a good 1-0 win in front of their own fans. But today will be much harder for them. If they play with energy and resilience, I think they're going to draw out of this game. Has a go. And blocked for now. Well, here's a question. How do you slow down this Newcastle attack? They are the highest scoring team in the league. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass should be going. They've got such a great understanding of the game plan. And a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Number 17, Abdelay Dukur, to be replaced by number 5, Ezra Thompson. A delicious piece of skill. Running with the ball confidently. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Joe Willock. Promising move this from Newcastle. Chance to play it in. Promising move. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, the flag has gone up, it was really close. Can you please remain seated after the game and your coach will meet you at the turnstile. Thank Becker. you. Making progress. Brendan Aronson. And a body in the way. Fabian Scher. Well, there you can see Newcastle haven't been able to control possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. McKenney. Can he finish? Lost possession. sumptuous ball no shortage of excitement level again no wonder they're excited well here's the replay and I have to say the keeper's got his angles all wrong there that's a poor piece of goalkeeping so a level contest 1-1 Aronson Beto. Oh, 
a very timely interception. And the emphasis is on creativity. Worth the try. And the keeper reacting just as we would have expected. Kilman. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Applying vigorous pressure. And using his body to good effect. Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St. James's Park. Chance to play it in. Promising move. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. This corner bear fruit for them. Delivering it. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Well, just a quick reminder that we'll have all the live action for you from Wembley. The Carabao Cup final right here on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Norwich City. Well, I've seen some great League Cup finals over the years. Oh, surely! That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Konsa. Brendan Aronson. Well, the stats confirm it. Leeds have had the lion's share of possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Indeed, and first they have to win back possession. he finds someone at the far post well no problems defensively can he convert well, closed down straight away well this is the home of live football EA TV and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you it's Leeds United taking on Leicester City well that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium danger here as he runs at them he must finish oh and it goes now he has his hat trick a special moment for him well you have to admire this bit of play just look how he runs with the ball he always looked in control didn't he that's a brilliant goal underway again with the score at 3-1 Just 20 minutes remaining now. Harrison. Aronson. Esri Konsa. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. And a substitution in the offing. And that's an important intervention.
Pablo Sarabia. Consap. And a fine tackle. Endo. Now with James. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Just ten minutes to go. Willock. Oh, a lovely ball. But how well he did to react in that manner. Davide Fratesi. That's a lovely ball. Could pull one back here. Superb stop. Weston McKenney. He's in control of the situation. Kilman. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. He's protecting it effectively. And there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Newcastle United. I wonder what you thought about their performance. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. Chance to play it in. Promising move.